Who doesn't like a discount? I like discounts, and so we wanted to know where in Indianapolis and the surrounding areas are the neighborhoods that have had the biggest price correction in the last six months. So looking from May of 2022 to November of 2022, where have prices essentially dropped? Starting off our list at number four is Zionsville. Now Zionsville sits on the northwest side of Indianapolis and has a more smaller town feel. It sits at only about 31,000 residents and has or is kind of known for its downtown area. It's got shops and dining and it's just a quaint little town. Now, three years ago in November, the median home price was 450,000. At the peak in May, it got up to about 667,000. And then today, the median home price sits at 600,000, which is about a 10% decrease in the market. Number three is Westfield. If you have kids in sports, then you're familiar with Westfield because they have this big sports complex called Grand Park. I think most people think of Westfield as Grand Park, but there's more to Westfield than just Grand Park. Now, honestly, if you're also an investor, you might even look into considering purchasing a home in Westfield or about a mile out from Grand Park because it's great people come in from all across the country for these sporting events with their kids and they need a place to stay. Three years ago in November, the median home price sat at $313,993. At the peak in May, it was up to $500,015. Now, today it actually sits at $475,000, which is a 12% decrease in the market. So considering purchasing in Westfield, as an investor or not, is a great idea. Number two is Carmel. Now, if you've been to Carmel, you might have gotten a little seasick by going around all those roundabouts, as it is the nation's capital for roundabouts. But there's, again, more to Carmel than just roundabouts. A lot of our clients that come in from out of town know about Carmel because their school system is so strong and it has an a rating. Carmel also has an amazing arts and design district which is located in the heart of Old Town Carmel. It is home to local shops, restaurants, home and design stores, as well as art galleries. Plus, it is right next to the Monon, which is a 25 mile trail that connects downtown all the way through past Westfield to Sheridan, Indiana. Now, three years ago, in November again, the median home price was $408,500 in Carmel. At the peak in May of 2022, it hit $540,000. Today, it is at $475,000, which is, again, about a 12% decrease in the market. Number one is Fishers, and also happens to be where Adam and I live. Fishers became a city in 2015. Some would say this is when the city went downhill. Others, like myself, would say, I think this is when the city put itself on the map. Now about the stats. Just three years ago, in November, the median home price was $315,500. At the peak, again in May of this year, it was $407,313. Today, it sits at $429,000, which is technically a 5.32 increase in the market. But I want to break that down for you, because I did put it as number one. Fishers actually has three townships within its area, Wayne, Delaware, and Fall Creek. Wayne is a small section that actually takes up part of Noblesville, and that had a 16.6 .6 decrease since May. So that's pretty big. Then you have Delaware, and I like to say that's kind of old Fishers, or west of 37, and they actually had a 14.22 increase. And honestly, is still seeing some increase. So if you're wanting to sell, Old Fishers is recommended and a good place to maybe consider selling. Then there's Fall Creek Township, which is what I like to say is more the newer Fishers, which is the northeast side of Fishers or the east side of 37 and Geis. And it actually saw only a 1.92% decrease. So you can see Fishers is a little confusing because you have the three different areas, but all together, overall, there was a 35.75 increase from three years ago. One other area that we did not talk about is Noblesville, which is one northern town that really hasn't fluctuated over the last three to six months, 
but they shot up at the very beginning and have stayed there and had the largest increase since 2019 at a whopping 46.8%. So again, if you're considering selling in Noblesville, another great spot to consider since you've had such a large increase from three years ago. Well, that's it. That's the four areas that we found that have the four largest corrections in the Indianapolis and surrounding areas. If you have any comments or questions, put those below. We'd love to hear your thoughts. And then if you're considering buying or selling in the area, we'd love to help. If you're new to our channel, check out other videos that we've done and make sure to subscribe so you get notified when we do those. Hope to catch you next time. Bye.